Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and today what we're going to be painting is a little European scene I found in a travel magazine. At the very end, I'll show you what my reference was because it really is kind of as suggestive of this and not really. And I'm, you know, I've, I had some tape, some artist tape, and you, you could use it. Mostly, I'm just using a small angle brush to, to paint this with. I used some phthalo green and a paint, a color called unbleached titanium, which is. Um, Really a fun color. If you haven't had, if you've never tried that color, that is a great color to use. Um, I, a, a, a tube of this will last you forever. It's called unbleached titanium. If you can't, um, if you don't have any and you want to know how to mix it, here's some white, okay? Here's a little bit of raw umber, okay? And it's very similar. Do you see that? Ooh, uh, very similar. So, I mean, enough where probably, you know, how would you know? Here, I'll put a little on there. It's very similar. Okay, a little white and raw umber will make it, but it's it just sort of comes already mixed, which is neat, particularly if you're doing this large. So anyway, you've got some flowers, and we're going to show you how to do some rocks and how to have a light source come in. Um, just something I thought this would be fun. Uh, if you are watching this, then on YouTube, and, you, and we're not live, then we're doing something. John and I are doing something really fun somewhere. And you can bet your boots that that's what we're doing. Here, I'm going to make this a little lighter right here. Because I can. While we're talking, I'm going to lighten up this edge. See? That's, that's, I, I'll try not to pl play with it anymore. I think you'll have fun with this. This is 6x8. I started off with a canvas that was red. Just sort of a dark red-orange color. But I think you could start off with dark brown. It doesn't really matter. And have fun painting Tuscan Village door. Or whatever we end up calling this. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this sort of dark red, kind of reddish brown canvas. It's a vertical 6x8. As you guys all know, that's my... Um, I get these at Jerry's. I always buy them on sale. That's our Paramount uh, tablet uh, canvas. And they're real canvas. And it's very nice for practice. Practice this and then try to do it larger. So I've got some tape. And what we're going to do, we've got a triangle and I've got a ruler. What I want to do is just put a little mark here. A little mark here, and I'm going to say that my roads are going to come here like that, okay? And um, then what I got to do is I got to put my glasses on so I can see see what I'm painting here. I know that I've got like from up here. This is where my door is going to be. I'll just I'll give you the measurements in a minute. I'm going to say here's my door like that, and then I'm going to say I've got my shutter. Look at the angles. Please look at the angles. This is real important. They're not straight across. With them. So we, if you kind of just did a line up like that, you know that your window's right here. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to my shutter. Hang on a second. Um, and Because I, I know I've got my flower here. So this is what, this is how I'm going to kind of construct this painting. Okay. Just going to construct it here like this. Here's my shutter. Okay. And then I will use a triangle to make sure that my lines are straight up and down when I get ready to do that when I tape it in. Okay. Because this comes up here like this. It's um, now all of this, we might say there's another window up here. Now, why are these angles going down here? Because there's a vanishing point way off. Uh, here somewhere, we're going to, and we're going to change the bottom of this because so we're saying that um, if you took this piece of paper and pulled it all the way out here, and you did something like this, then some because uh, the, 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 okay, so somewhere here, you know, there's a way off of here somewhere is our vanishing point. All right, so for the perspective, so I'm going to this will be up a little bit, not quite as steep an angle as that, but we're just going to say. This is all going up here like this. So this is kind of at this angle. This is at this angle. This is straight up and down. Here's the entrance to our door, our old door. Okay. And we're not, you know, we're just, we're just saying some stuff. Could you make this bigger? Sure. But I think this is kind of nice. And I think I want this. I'm looking at this, deciding where I'm going to put my flower pots and how much higher I want this. I might, might just bring this up a little higher. Because I have not painted this. I'm painting this as you watch. At the, you're going to see at the beginning of the video, you see my fix, final picture. But now you're just seeing me, um, you know, sketch it in. All right. So I think I don't know if I want to bring this door up. 
Okay? And we'll bring it like that. All right, so then we're saying, so that's pretty much it. I've got a window which of these lines here have to be straight up and down, okay? And then this one's kind of going up this way, and this one's going to go on like that, like a big cone going out, okay? So, all right, so then what do we know? Well, let's see, what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to say that I've got the light kind of coming from this direction. We're going to have, it's going to come from this direction in, the, in our picture, okay? So that the inside of this window ledge will be like this. And um, I think that'll be fine. So I want, so I'm going to say that there's some stone. This is a stone cottage. Okay, that's, that's what we're going to go for is a stone cottage. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, probably put out, um, here's some raw umber. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to write all this down for you guys. I use the same paints all the time. If you watch all my videos, all... I never change colors. I mean, you don't see me do that, so it seems kind of funny to do anything else. Okay, so there's um, we're not doing any any of that color. See, we've got raw umber, and we might want let's try a little yellow oxide. Okay, like that. We don't need a lot. And let's see what else do I want. Got brand new paints out here. Burnt sienna. Let's see. Burnt, um, let's see, well, I put them all out there. Here's a little purple. That's nice. Okay, a little bit of purple. Just going to put some there. I'm not, I want all this uh, space to mix with today. So I'm not just covering my whole uh, palette with the different colors, okay? Just going to get some stuff out of the way. Here's a little ultramarine blue. Uh, that's a good color. We'll put a little of that right there. And then I'm still looking for my brown. I want my burnt umber, which I don't see why that would be a problem. Yet, for some reason, ah, it's, here it is. All right, raw umber is translucent. Burnt umber is not, okay? So let's just take a small angle brush. And um, I'm going to just start off with this uh, 3 8 inch ruby satin silver brush. And... Um, I'm going to make it damp, but that's all, okay, and then I'll wipe it off on a rag, and we're just going to, um, a little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of yellow oxide, maybe a tiny bit of ultramarine blue, kind of get a greenish brown color, and I'm going to say that this is my, these are my rocks, and what I want to do when I do rocks, if you've ever had the fun of, of ever building a rock wall of any kind, I used to do that in California. With, we had a lot of rocks on our property. And so, you know, it was uh, we were always doing something. We'd pick up the rocks and we'd make a little wall out of them. And what you have to have when you're building a rock wall is that all the shapes are slightly different. The bigger ones on the bottom, okay? So the bigger rocks are on the bottom usually and then as you go up they might be smaller we're not doing brick but we're just we're just kind of making these shapes now could I have drawn them in sure but I just don't feel like we need to do that I want you to see how just this this is fun I, I think I love stuff like this because it's really fun to do and we start off with the darkest color um, maybe I've got a, kind of a sideways long rock here Maybe one coming across. The hardest thing is not to clone your rocks. Got a little burnt umber, a little bit of yellow oxide, a little bit of ultramarine blue, and I'm going to do this, okay? And um, there we go. I'm just going to come on up here. Now, I'm not going to get too crazy with this because um, uh, we want, I want to say, here's this, let's make the inside of this window real dark as long as we're so purple burnt umber make this real dark in here and I'm going to make the get not get too carried away with this either I'm going to make the inside of this very dark I love these angle brushes because you can just get um, such control with them now I'm going to say there's the notice I haven't put any white out but I'm going to say there's the inside of this window ledge right like that Okay, something like this, and that's going to come up a little higher, like this. Okay, so still working on the rocks, right? And here's some rocks here, 
And then I think we're just going to have, we're just going to suggest some smaller rocks over here. And then the rest of this is going to be kind of looking like it's stucco over the rocks. Okay, so then I've got my, I've got my uh, street here. Okay, coming along like that. Okay, that's how I'm kind of designing this. Kind of watching me design it as it happens. Now I'm going to say this is straight up and down here. And uh, I don't know if I'll do a colored door. You know, but I don't at this point know if I'm going to do a colored door. So let's just paint this dark brown for now. Okay, so here's our door. And then here's our doorstep. A little bit of the yellow oxide. Just, just putting it in like this. Okay. There you go, and then that's the inside of the door jam, like that. Okay. And I think at this point I will um, uh, put out on the palette some burnt sienna. Okay. Going to do that. Uh, I don't know when I'll use it, but I'm going to put it out right now. So I'm going to say this is just straight up and down here. So then you have to ask yourself what and then oh you know what I wasn't going to do another color but I am going to do a color for this. This is called unbleached titanium and if you don't have it you can just use white and a little uh, burnt sienna but here's unbleached titanium. Okay and kind of what I want at this point is to take the unbleached titanium and I'm going to come around here like this and kind of grout my rocks. Now normally you see me put this on first, cause, but I want thick and thin grout, and I can always erase some if I don't want it. Where it's getting, I didn't dry anything, so where it's touching the burnt umber, it's um, uh, picking up the burnt umber and changing color, but just for the practical purposes. Um, I'm not sure that this rock isn't too big, so we're going to, I'm going to make this one smaller. There you go. Didn't like that one. All right. So now I'm going to say that this is um, kind of part of a stucco wall that we're going to say is here. Here's this. It's just the. I'm going to say all this is stucco up here. We don't want to get it too busy because we're going to have all those flowers. At least I plan to have lots of flowers, so you get get too much visual noise going, and you don't want to do that. You know, absolutely do not want to do that. And I know if you're watching this, you're going, I really like the live shows. And John and I like doing the live shows. We don't always have time. We have other stuff going on in our lives that prevents us from always doing live shows. So you just got to figure that we don't necessarily mean we're on vacation. Sometimes we film live shows and we put a, keep them in what we call in the can, so to speak. So that when um, we have a... Um, uh, you know, if somebody's sick or we have to have a doctor's appointment or we have to leave or something happened and we can't do a live show, we have no internet, there's all kinds of reasons why we wouldn't do a live show, we have something to put up on YouTube, okay? And what we would really appreciate you guys doing, if you if you like our shows and if you're enjoying them, is to, to not only share them with others, let other people know that you found these artists on, on, um, on YouTube that you really like and just let people know that you... You, um, that we're out there. We would really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of cover up this red wall here like that. Okay, see this is what I've got now is a pretty decent sketch of uh, what I'm trying to, you know, do here. Okay, and I'll just take a little bit of a door jam and here's my rock. Okay, I think what is this? We can always put a rock back. I don't know what happened to that rock. We'll put it back. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of yellow oxide in that color and I'm going to say there's my Here's my um, sun glowing terrace, and that really, you want to talk about heat, make something kind of light yellow and white. And nothing says hot day faster than that. That really says hot day, and we're just going to cover up all that red. And uh, could you start it off with white? Yeah, but the red, I can't, you know, if you look at that, the red tones this down a little bit. It's very interesting. I don't want this too perfect, but we're going to say that this happened like that. Okay, so this, these are old buildings. Okay, so then you're going, so this is kind of nice. Here's some yellow oxide and some white. We can come up here like that. Some of this is dried. I might, um, this is my next coat of stucco. 
might just add that. Now you can use real stucco if you were doing this larger. I'd get some Liquitex. I've got a video on YouTube on how to do that, how to use real stucco to create this. But right now what we're doing for you is just designing the painting, okay? That's all we're doing. And let's take a little bit of the burnt uh, sienna and yellow oxide and just come up here like this. And while well, this is still wet, just kind of tone this down a little bit. There we go. A little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, that's a little yellow, so let's get rid of that. Okay. All right, so, so far so good. Everybody's uh, going, well, that's cool. Yeah, surely, surely it is, right? So I think I wanted a little bit more of that color next to here. A little bit darker under here. Just pull that on down. All right, now this is how we sketch this in. And if you guys are... Um, you know, don't panic with this stuff. It's just, it's just paint. You can sketch anything in and dry it, and then we're going to refine it. So there's not much to this, but we sketched it in. Yeah. And um, um, so here we go. I've done that, right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, and it's always a little bit drippy. You know that. Let's put a little burnt um, raw umber. Excuse me. Burnt Sienna and Ultramarine Blue up from the bottom. Okay, like that. Make it look like it's dripping. You know how that, you know, sometimes the, you know, the water drips down. Okay, I'll do that. Now, what I'm going to do now is just take a second and dry everything. Because I've pretty much laid out my picture. All right. And that's all I've done. Is I've just taken a moment and laid it out. And now we're going to dry the whole thing. Get the brush out of the way. So I don't dry paint on the brush. And I'm going to move this palette out of the way so I don't dry the palette. All right, now. All right, so back to here, get our grayscale finder out of the way. Somebody has asked about this. This is Fred, he's our zombie, and he holds pencils and stuff. I had a pencil, I'd put him in there for you. You hold a pencil, here hold a brush, you know, like that. He's kind of fun if you've got, you need a place to put your brush while you're painting. So, you know, we, we, I found him on Amazon. It's normally I'm not a zombie person at all, so it was really out of character for me to buy any anything even remotely like this. All right, so here's my burnt sienna coming up on the top of this window, like here. That's the inside of that, right? Like that. Okay. Now, um, I think what I want to do is work a little bit on the um, rocks. So I'm going to make this sort of green color. Take a little bit of that yellow oxide, um, ultramarine blue, and this uh, unbleached titanium. Make a little bit of a green color, kind of a color here. And I'm going to just suggest there might be some moss growing on my rocks. Okay, and just uh, you put the paint on the brush and then you wipe it all off like this. Okay, and I'm just going to suggest that that there might be. Some uh, the trick to doing rocks is to just the different colors. So we're just gonna too much paint there. Let's just get a little of this paint off here. So you got I don't know. This doesn't look like rocks at all. I know. Let's see. You know what we're missing? I need this. I need some yellow. So right next to this, I'm gonna put a little yellow. It's cad yellow medium because I want this a little bit mossier looking. And then I have to have cad red medium. So those are the colors I want. And I've all got them grouped together all on one side of the palette today. A little bit of red on that. There we go. Now, a little bit of ultramarine blue. I want this sort of mossy green color. This was a little too blue-green. I wanted something more in the olive tones. So there we go. I'm just going to say there's the um, kind of some olive green on the rocks. Oh, yeah, much better. Ha, ha, ha. 
and because because the canvas is rough, I didn't sand it or anything. It's going to kind of drag over there, and just pick up a bit of, bit of this up here like that. It's just going to pick up a bit. You don't want too much paint. Kind of tap off a lot of it like that on your paper. Okay. All right. Now, so what do we know? That's we're we're getting there. Now, what do we know for sure? Well, we know for sure. I want it a little bit lighter as I get up this way. So I'm going to say that right here, on this side of the rock here, where the light's hitting it, it's a bit lighter. See that? Again, this is like the three-tone thing. There you go. This are saying this side of the rock is lighter. Okay. See how it's starting to come to life? It's layering, and people never get, you know, just, you know, they, nobody wants to go to the trouble to layer it. But you've got to layer it. It's the same as the light up here. Let's make a little bit. I haven't used any white yet. Okay. That unbleached titanium just sort of makes everything look ancient and old. Okay. We'll do the same thing over here, too, on these rocks. There we go. All right. So I've got these old looking rocks. And I think what I need is better grout. So we need to come back, and I think I'll probably want a smaller brush for that. Uh, what do I got? Here's some brand new ruby satin silvers. We get ours from the the brushguys.com, and I tell people that. And you know, they, they don't pay me to say it. I just tell people that because they give us all a five percent discount. If you use my name, Ginger Cook, you can buy any of the Art Trooper brushes, my daughter's stuff. You can buy. Um, um, uh, you know, anything on their site, you go to the teacher's page, you can find my ruby satin silver brushes that I like on these angle ones. It's not those the only brushes I like on the planet, but I do like those. Okay, so I'm going to sit there and you know, start to put a little more grout here. Okay, we're just going to, I guess we need to put a few more rocks in, but I'm kind of seeing where we are with these first. Okay. So we'll just sort of you know, getting this old building. The thick about it, don't, you know, here's the secret about doing anything like that. It's thick and thin. So you're thinking, well, I'll just do all these big, wide, circular things like that. Don't do that. You can come back and you can do a little bit of rock. But um, you know, we can glaze over some of this. You know, we start out to do the simplest things. That get, I can't do a simple painting. It's almost impossible for me. I want to do a simple painting. But I end up not doing one, and I, I don't know what happens because I have the best of intentions of doing something real fast and simple. Then going, your paintings are always too hard. And they're not really hard. They just sometimes they get a little time consuming. Let's just come on down here like this with these our stucco down here like that. Get it kind of drippy. Okay, that's pretty. It's just kind of let's pull some stuff. Here's a little. There we go. There we go. So it doesn't all have to be the same color. You know, remember there's a shadow side to the stucco too. So you might say the ins you know, this this left side might be more in shadow, you know, that's not catching everything, the light. All right. All right, so we got some rocks, right? They look pretty good, yeah. Um so then I might just take some burnt umber and maybe even a little purple. Okay, so if I'm saying that the, remember that was the dark side of my rocks, I might just come down here and just darken a couple in the, a couple places and maybe, you know, make them a little bigger in some sense. Because I don't necessarily want some of that grout to be so thin you can barely see it and other parts of it to be wider. So as long as you keep in mind that the left side of the rock is the shadow side and the right side you could reverse it too, but this in this case, this is what, you know, I'm going to make this a little bigger like this rock. This is going to get bigger, okay? And I want to just start narrowing the grout down. So now my rocks my rocks are changing shape. When you're building a rock wall, you're, you can kind of take a hammer and knock them off a little bit and change the shape, but it's it's kind of tricky, okay? So you see here what we've just done here with, with this? We're saying that there's our rocks in here like that. Okay, here we go. Don't want that much grout, so I guess we're put another rock right there. 
Okay, so then maybe you need a little rock coming out here like this. This is where we kind of keep playing with them, okay? Just barely touch that one. It's another rock. And different shapes. Get some different shapes going on them, okay? And then what can you do now? Well, you know, this is... Um, um, I want to make sure that I've got this painted in here right. This angle here is going to be like this. This is the inside of my door in here like this, my threshold. Okay, like that. And uh, I'm going to say that this is the bottom of my window right here. But I might have a... I think what I need here is a little bit of a window box. I think that's what I'm going to put here. I wasn't originally going to put a window box, but I feel like we need a window box. Um, I'm not sure what color yet though, so I'm thinking about the window box. Maybe burnt sienna. Should we put a little burnt burnt sienna window box here? Well, if we make it, we can always make it lighter if we want to. All right, so there's my window box like that, kind of growing up here. Like that's a little bit too big. Let's make it skinnier. Let's just say, let's just end the window box right here. Like that. There you go. Notice how the grout changed color because the brush was still wet, right? So, right, so we just, okay, there it is. There's our kind of funny grout. There you go, like that. Yeah, oh, I like it. Okay, maybe a little yellow oxide and that color. And now, what do we know? We, we know that we, we know that we want a little bit the lighter, a um, little bit lighter um, moss growing on these rocks on this side. Remember, so we added a few more, so maybe we'll add a few highlights too. In a couple places, they don't all have to be the same. But we'll just play with that. Okay, so. That's all good. Um, I think I need for balance, I probably need a rock right here, just off the side here like that. So, all right, that's good. And uh, now we're gonna dry it one more time. So it looks pretty dry to you. It looks pretty dry to me. All right, so this is where the tape comes in, what brushes in water. We're going to start to, um, well, before we do that, before we do that, let's get out. Oh, you know what? Let's just get out some phthalo green. I wasn't going to use any other different colors, but I'm going to now, as I'm painting, I want some phthalo green. Let's get something a little brighter and prettier here, like that. That's a very bright color. Normally I wouldn't use that for, it's pretty for the window box we're doing. Here's a little of this unbleached titanium and a little bit of this thalo green. Was that thalo green? What was that? Oh, that's Southern Ocean Blue. That's pretty. Where was the thalo green? Let me show, show you that. Okay. Here it is. There, let's on this brand new tube. I haven't used that. All right, so let's. That's Southern Ocean Blue by Matisse, which is a turquoisey blue, which you can make using. You can make that using. Um, you can get this color by Thalo Blue and um, Thalo Green and White, and you'll get that Southern Ocean Blue color. But let's put a little raw umber in that and tone that down. Raw umber is going to age that just a tiny bit. It's your translucent um, color and it's going to age that. See, it makes it look like old antique stuff, right? So I'm going to come down here like this, right next to my... Here's my window box. And this is my shutter. And I'm going to just say that um, I'm not going to talk about this shutter. Where's, where's it? This shutter is going out like this, kind of up this way. Where's this shutter going to go? 
Well, normally it would be over here. I hate to cover up the rocks, but I guess we're going to. I guess this is where the other shutter is going to go, like here. Had some great rocks there. Bye. Okay, now, that's where my little shutters are going to go. Let's get my dark um, uh, part of the window in here like this. We have, still have to do some window here. So there's the there's the shutters, and here's the window. And we're just going to make those a little bit thinner. Okay? A little bit thinner on the shutters. There we go. Want more window, less shutters. Okay, so but I like the color of the shutters. And um, which is which is good. And if I said this was a window box, which we said, is that what we said? So this is a window box. Here's a little bit of orange color, and I'm going to just say that this is my orange window box. And why do we? Why does that work? Well, it works because orange is the complement of turquoise on the color wheel, which is opposite turquoise on the color wheel. So when you throw those together in a painting, it just is like eye candy. So that's what we just did here. A little bit of eye candy. All right, so I guess we're doing that. Let's remember we said the light was coming from this side, so we have to lighten this up right here. Probably should have dried it, but we didn't, so we're just going to suggest that that's a little lighter here and up here too. Okay, for our windows and door jam. And here we're going to say this is lighter right here. All right, so far so good. It's starting to look, it's starting to come to life, and it's interesting when you start playing with stuff like this, when you sit there and say, well, how do I make something look 3D? One thing is like whenever you have a window box like this, if you put a dark shadow underneath it, that will make it want to look, you know, um, you know, more cemented into the picture. Here's a little bit. Of, remember, we said there was a light end here. So if we said there was our light end of this, let's put a little light edge here on the top. So okay, we're saying there's a little window box. So now I like that. So what if I put a little of that yellow on some of these rocks here? Now look what I just did. Didn't do much. This is my next thing a light yellow. So sorry we lost all those cute ones over there, but that's okay. All right, so we tapped a little of that. We keep adding to our um, or rocks. There you go. Now, now what? Well, all right, so um, what do I know for sure? Well, I think I'd like a little more detail on this uh, window box, but I also want it a little bit lighter in the street. So here's just a little bit of, of the unbleached titanium. I'm going to just suggest some light here in the street. It's not white, but it sure looks white compared to everything else I've got, doesn't it? And then the same thing here, I'm going to just right up next to me on this door jam, kind of like where the light might be coming in, a bit of an edge here, just slightly lighter here like that, maybe not as light as that, but maybe a little bit lighter here, something like that, just something a little bit lighter right here on the inside of this, okay? All right, so there, so you can kind of see into the window, into the, into this, right? So then, what happens here? Well, I mean, when do we get out the tape? Well, I guess it just depends. I think we're okay though. If we haven't, I haven't got any tape yet. And sometimes it's nice not to. We have the tape if we wanted really straight lines, but sometimes it can be nice not to do it. And here's why: because um, um, it makes the buildings look old, more old. Does it make sense? They look much more old when you do it this way. Okay, so that's just you're just sort of just sort of cementing them in here. Now if I take that unbleached titanium and add it to the um, mixture that we used for the shutters, okay, now this is really fun. We'll just come up here like this using I'm just gonna pull it down here straight. Straight. Okay, same thing here. Gonna come over to this side. Again, we could tape it here on the end, edge like that. Gonna put these up here like that, and they're a little bit open. And um, 
This is a very loose painting. If you're going to make it, if you're going to get all detail on me, then you'll have to, um, you know, do a little more, you know, work on this door than I'm willing to do. All right, let's take a little red and yellow. And um, let's cut red, medium, and yellow. And let's see, what we, could we do here on this? Could we do a little bit on this door here? What happened if we did that? Do we like a red door? I don't know. Just take a little purple now on top of that and just tone that back down. All I'm doing is a little bit of purple right on top of that. So I'm suggesting the red's there, but not so much. It's there, but you barely see it. Now this is where I might tape, tape something. Right here. So this is where I might be willing to tape something. It's right like that. And make sure, it's straight, pull the tape, make sure it's straight up and down. And I might be willing to do this. Okay. So you get a little bit straighter. That's what the tape's for. A little bit straighter than you would have normally. Okay. So, so far so good. Everybody's with me? Okay. So if we wanted to be the last of the biggest spenders, we could put, we could suggest a few little shutters here like this with the this is why I love angle knives uh, you know angle ones so much um, you could use a Posca pen too if you're going to be really neat about this I'm not I'm not belittling you if you want to be very neat I'm just saying we're doing a very loose painting okay very very loose so I don't want to spend a lot of time um, you know I want you to just see kind of an impressionistic thing. Now, when when your brush gets too much paint on it, you can't get a you cannot get a um you can't get a thin line like that. See, and this is not as straight as I want. Okay, well that's better. Okay, now what do we got here? Um, let's see. We said we wanted something a little lighter in here, like this, the inside of this window. Yeah, take just pull that up just a little bit more like that. And we're going to put some flowers in there anyway, so it's just all pretty good. Shall we lighten this up a little bit, our window box? Let's do a little bit of light just on the top of the edge of it, a little bit of contrast. Okay. All right, so far so good. Now I'm looking at this going, I know I want some flowers, and I'm going to have that. And so maybe this rock here is a little much, so I'm just going to, Oh, that's pretty. What, ooh, that's neat. What did I just do? I love that. Well, that was what... Ooh, I love that. I suggest that maybe that, that, you know, that somebody painted this. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe we painted it a couple times. Do I like that? Kind of do. All right, well, should wash my brush better. But sometimes, you know, Bob Ross used to call them happy accidents. And sometimes these color things can work like that. So here we go. All right, so that's that's our brush. This is where we are here. This is where we are here with this one straight down. Okay, so there's our window. We're going to have flowers here, probably a little flower pot here. Excellent idea. Flower pot right there. So right here, I'm going to put in a flower pot. Okay, and I think I want one here too. Hmm. Oh, maybe here. Let's put a little one right here. A little flower pot on each side of the door. Okay, so we got two little flower pots. That one's slightly smaller because it's further away. A little bit of burnt umber. Remember the light's coming from this way, so this is the dark, darkest side of our flower pot. Yeah? So that's the side you're going to darken, like so. Okay, two little flower pots by the door, some flowers here, and we're good to go. We've pretty much done this without, you know, pretty much freehand this in, haven't used any tape, haven't used a ruler. I think that's almost kind of cool, don't you? But let's take that and a little yellow oxide and just make this um, 
Oh, here, that was yellow. Well, it's a little yellow oxide. I want some more of this sort of tan color for our um, stucco. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Just bring some paint down. Here we go. Oh, wonderful. You, you can't appreciate how great it is to layer stuff. It just it makes it look so cool when you can layer a little bit of stuff and, you know, layer your paint. And it makes, I mean, really talk about making a building look old. Here's a little burnt sienna with that color. I like to put dark down from the top. It's just, um, you just kind of drag it unevenly. Sometimes it's nice to have something a little bit uneven under the window. Here's a little gray like that. Then it came down like that. Um, maybe this one's a little bit darker right here next to this. I say that because the light's coming from this way, so there might be a shadow actually even from this, like that, next to there. And I like, okay, so this is tilted a little bit that way, so it looks like it's off its hinges. That's even better, okay? It's nothing like an old, broken down, um... Yeah, so we'll just deliberately do it kind of at a cattywampus angle. Okay, so they're fun. Now what? We gotta dry it. I've been posting it too long. We gotta dry it. Okay, so I've got the light coming from this direction. I'm out of unbleached titanium. Oh, I have a big tube of it. I'm not actually out. I never use this color. I forget to use it. So it's a good that we're all having a reminder to use it because it's a good color. And uh, it's already an off-white. Okay, so let's just come this way. Take our white off unbleached titanium and just come around like that on our pot. Like so. Yes and yes. Now pinch the brush. We're going to come back this way and just sort of just blend that out. Okay. There we go. Like that. Okay. Now shadows coming where? Here's a little raw umber, a little bit of burnt sienna. So shadows coming this way. So it's going to be a little bit of a sh shadow. Kind of like in here from this pot, maybe a little bit darker right underneath it. Curve a little band around it like that. Here we go. Just make it darker. Okay, so then these look a little bit more 3D. All right, all so far so good. Everybody's with me. All right, now. Let's see, we see, I think we said this was going to be lighter right here on the door jam. Could put a little bit light on this pot here. Now back here to this light stuff in the so it's not white, it just looks white, doesn't it? Because of, of how we're doing it. Oh, okay. So let's see, where we got this stuff. I want something a little lighter on this edge. So here's some of that with that light green. It's a really light color. I want something very light on this edge. Okay, good. Um, what else could we do before we start putting in the flowers? Oh yeah, I like that color. Let's put a little bit of um, yellow with it. That would be yellow oxide. Gonna play with all the colors here. I'm gonna just come on my. No, that's not gonna work. Let's put some more yellow, yellow with it. Do we have any yellow? Yeah, there we go. I just want some lighter uh, something on the rocks. I really like the idea of these rocks having some light with it. Here's a little bit of the unbleached titanium. Now look, I'm going to lighten up some of these rocks. Do you see any colors that we put on here already? And each rock can be slightly different, but we're going to lighten up some of these rocks here like that so that they've got this sort of old world. And then what about some just a little bit of moss on this pot? Can we do that? Yeah, we could do that too. Just drag a little down. 
Okay. All right. Then I'm going to put a little of this kind of a little bit of raw umber kind of green in here like this and just make this look old. Um, there we go. Just nothing. I just, it's just too, it was just too perfect here, you know. All right. So we kind of darken that. So far, so good. Now, where's our grout? A little bit of... Here we go. We got some grout coming over this rock. Don't know if I like the blue. You may like the blue there, in which case you should keep it. Um, I think I could have this is be a little bit lighter right here. And what you do is you line up your, your brush with your straightest line and just pull it sideways. Okay. There you go. Some of it a little bit lighter right there. Mm, this could be lighter here too. With this where this little barrel is. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna put some flowers. Do we want to do anything about the door? So do we want this door a little bit oranger. Can we drag down some colors on this door? Maybe just put a few little, you know, like it's an old wood door. Okay, something like that. That's not bad. Maybe we'll put a handle on it too. Let's take a little bit of blue and and let's put a little handle on this door. So far, so good. Yeah, okay. We've got to be able to get in the house. All right, so now what do we got? It's flower time. Now here's the thing. I know we said we weren't going to ever use any tape on our shutters and one's kind of fatter than the other. And you know, that's fine. But you can always do this. Okay, I'm going to just do this, right? I'm going to say that's how you can use the tape to decide how big you want something, right? And then I could decide that this shutter, I just don't want it that wide. So I'm going to cut off about that much of it. And I can just do that by erasing it. Well, it's good to dry this stuff first before you do it, but here you go. Let's see if that didn't see if that didn't erase that shutter a little bit and make it a little bit more not quite so uh, wide. And then I can go ahead and fix it. You know, the thing about acrylics is you can always come back and do something else. If you if you got something in it you don't quite like it, just dry it and fix it. People get so obsessed over the strangest things. All right, that's a little better. All right, I admit that's a little better. All right, time for the flowers, which means we need more yellow. All right, we're gonna put. We're gonna start with the green leaves first. We're gonna make some dark, um, dark green. We're gonna take some ultramarine blue and yellow, make and uh, make a really nice dark green color, mostly blue. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just tap it on here like this over the top of these. That's why I wasn't so worried about the shape of these barrels because of kind of these pot things because we're just tapping in this over here like that, like that. And then now more lighter color with that. So here's my, here's a little bit more yellow with it and unbleached titanium and here's my remember the lights coming from this way so there's my lighter leaves on top same thing here lighter leaves on top so far we haven't gotten any white okay now if I change blues, and this is where you want all your blues. Now we're, you already got thalo green out, so I guess we'll use it. Or you could have used thalo blue, but let's just let's take a little bit of thalo green and yellow. That's really, really bright. And put a little bit of raw umber with that. More yellow. And here's a pretty nice brighter green here. We could say that there's some, um, we've got some bright green coming down over here like our flower box. Again, I wasn't too concerned about how great we did the um, the um, the flower box or quite frankly the shutters because we were going to cover up the bottom of them anyway. Darker colors underneath you can go right into the 
uh, ultramarine blue to make those dark shadows underneath coming down like that. Okay. And, uh, okay, so that's a slightly different green than the others. Now, here's the thing. Red and green are complements. So what that means, you guys, is that if you mix red and green together, you get mud. So you have to dry the green before you put the... Um, before you put any uh, anything else on here. Here's a little raw umber. I'm toning these back a bit. They're a little green. All right, so I'm just going to tone back these a little bit, make sure I have just enough dark rocks. Okay, very good. All right, so there we go. Now what? Mm, rinse the brush, a little bit of cad red medium and yellow. I just want a little more color on the bottom of these pots. So I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, they're just a little bit dull for me. Now, now having it looked at it, just wanted a little more color on there. We're not putting any fancy ladders or anything like that. But that being said, if you had wanted all this straight, let me move the palette. If you had wanted all this straight, what you would have had to do is come up here with your triangle. Make sure that you got your door straight. I think we did. Okay. I'm going to take a moment and dry it before we put in our um, flowers. Okay, so let's just look at this for a minute. So far, so good, right? We haven't got any flowers, but it's still kind of cute, right? Okay, so now, moving this back over, we're going to get out some white paint. And um, I got tons of this from Jerry's one time. Buy one, get one free. So here we're going to get out some white paint. Probably don't need that much. Here we go. There we go. Well, I'm going to do some other paintings too, so we'll just keep this for that. All right, so now there's my white paint. Now we're going to get some bright stuff going here. Here's some um, here's some design magenta. Or you can use where's quadrochrome. See, this is uh, regular scarlet. What's this one? Absolutely. Oh, magenta. Here's some magenta. Just a nice, beautiful, bright pink. Okay. Ooh, let me just get those. All right, now, I've got a little white, got a little pink. And I'm going to say that what I want is some beautiful pink flowers. Uh, a little bit of white, a little bit of pink. And I'm going to just say I want some beautiful pink flowers growing up here like that. See how I'm, see, they're not stars. They're not doop, 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 doop. Please don't do that. They all touch. Okay. And I'll say a little bit more of the design magenta. Make the dark, a little bit darker here on this side. Okay. There we go. And a little bit of, uh, put some white right on top of that. Just touch and remember, I'm saying that the light's coming from this way, so these sides of the flowers now are going to be the lightest. And because my brush is still wet, maybe you want something growing up like that. So those are the pink coming out of there. Okay, like that. All right, I like that. Some pink flowers. And now, what color to make those? Well, I can do uh, purple, which is pretty. I can make really nice purple ones because that looks pretty good with this. So let's take a little bit of purple and if you take kind of a combination of purple and ultramarine blue, you get sort of these blue blue flowers which are really nice. So here's a little more of our ultramarine blue out again. A little bit of purple ultramarine blue. Start with the darker color first.
Okay, now I'm going to wipe the brush, not rinse it. Don't want any water on this. Here's the white part. And I'm tapping it over on the right side of the dark purple. And my brush is dirty, so it's going to make some real pretty kind of violet uh, colored flowers right here like that all by themselves. Okay. Alright, so that's kind of way cool. So then what? What else could we do? Um, well, I'm kind of looking at that going... What if we took a little bit of white and unbleached titanium, just the two of those together, and made it slightly lighter than it is? If we came under here like this and now suggested Just at this doorway, it's lighter. That's all we're going to do now. We're just going to kind of, you know, pull that white up here. And, you know, somebody might say, well, what about some flowers or vines coming down here? And you could, right? You could do it. Um, it gets really busy with this rock. Even though I like the rock, it got really busy with the rock. So it would probably look better if it didn't have a rock there, even though I went to a lot of trouble to paint this rock in. It might be better if I had to just a little bit more stucco look to it. And just said this is my, um, that's part of my stucco wall. And here's our dark under the window ledge, right? And if I said that was the stucco wall, I could then make some sort of like a little, you know, there we go, something a little bit darker under here where these flowers go. And uh, now that gives you just a little bit, and it's slightly lighter. Do you see that? Slightly lighter. And um, that way, you know, because I want all this to kind of to show up like that. Like, there you go. So... So what we're doing now is turning on the lights. That's all I'm doing now is turning on the lights. Okay, that's all we're doing. Turning on the lights. Where's the light? Kind of bring your eye in there in the stucco and you've got all this and me. Maybe we want to say that's like a bit like that, right? So just a little bit of lights and darks. It's all Anything, that's all painting really ever is. It's just a, just a nice group of lights and darks. Okay, a little bit lighter up there. Just play with this. So, um, that is fun. I think that is really fun. I think that is a kind of a cool way to do this. Um, I want to dry it and then just do some final touches. Okay, the reason we have to dry it is because I want to make sure that I have... I want this to be pretty light right here. It's my tape. So I straight line. So you just, I just needed to clean it up a bit, right? And... Um, Okay, there's that, and then let's see what else we got here. Just maybe dry brush a little bit of light up here going here, barely. Not as bright as down there, but just a little bit lighter up there, going up there like that on the inside of the door jam, like this. 
And um, let's see, did we get that light enough up over here? This is this is where the you know here's our flower pots. Make sure I've got the light on them. Okay. So that I mean, do I want to put any? Could you put um, uh, you know something you know in here? Like for instance, you don't want to get this too busy, right? So I don't want to say anybody's home in here, and I don't want to put a cat up here in the in the in the um, in the um, in the window, right? So then you have to ask yourself, all right. So we're going to say, what could we? What could we do and not ruin the effect? Do we, do we want to do anything else? Well, one thing we can do is kind of darken the sides here, and that kind of forces the eye in toward the center. Kind of, we did that coming down here on the top, a little bit of burnt sienna, kind of, a little bit of burnt sienna, yellow oxide. Let's try that. That's always nice. Okay, I just sort of pull that down here, so we're seeing a little bit of this. And, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know that I want to do much of anything else with it. I think I would just uh, pretty much call it done. Maybe I'm going to say that that's rock up here is um, what I peeked in here like that. There's the inside of the rock. And what do we got here? That's kind of the light side of my stucco. Oh, this is this has been fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed painting this. Um, and I'm just doing a little dark next to my uh, flower pot so it shows up a little bit. Okay, so part of me says, do I want to do I want to put any flowers coming out of here? If I do, I have to get rid of these rocks because it'll be too busy. Okay? Uh, right now the rocks are sort of balancing everything, the sort of stone wall with the rocks. But if I was willing to lose the rocks, Okay, now you can see, stop right here, just the way it is, I'll show it to you, right the way it is. If you're willing to lose the rocks, then you might want to put something coming out here, right? So you don't want to bring your eye up here, so if you did anything, it would be, um, you, would, you would want to have it, want to make sure you put any brown in your thalo green, but if you sit there and said, I've got some sort of vine coming out of this window like this, coming down over the door. So you have to see how the rock is just sort of disappearing now. Okay. I might want something coming out of this like this. Then I'd have to put some little bit of light up here. So here's my lighter um, green um, uh, Lighter leaves, where we can do a dark and a light leaf, right? So then I might come back with a little bit of yellow. Let's say, here's the, I'm going to just come down here like that. I want a lighter leaf down here now. I'm going to come up here with some yellow and lighten up. I'm going to brighten this up here like that. We're starting to turn on some lights, you guys. I'll lighten those leaves up. Okay, like that. Even add some more white to that. All right, I want some lighter leaves here, just a couple, right? Not too many, but just something like that. And bring your eye down to the door. And um, so somebody said, "Well, what color would you make? Would you make these uh, flowers?" Well, you could do an off-white, for sure. Um, could do a yellow. You could do kind of a gold color kind of a yellow and, and yellow oxide color. I, I kind of like the magenta. I like the idea of some more, some, some pink flowers up here, even if you didn't do too many. I like the idea of them, you know, kind of repeating. So for me, I'm repeating this. And my green was wet, and you see how my flowers aren't showing up? because the green was wet. So let's dry that real quick and then fix those flowers. Can't put, um, if you try to put um, 
you know, red flowers over wet green, you really get some sort of tragic results. So let's just brighten this up now that we've, there we go. And here's a little bit of lighter color right here. Somebody asked about how I like the jars, and I'll tell you what I don't like about them. Okay. All right, so those are all our kind of nice, um, uh, um, magentas and stuff. What I don't like about the jars is that uh, you end up putting a lot more paint out and maybe not using it. When you're just squirting out a little bit of paint, this is anybody's jar, you're much less likely to, um, just make this dark right here and not talk about it. There you go. Okay, so there's our door. There's our flowers. Kind of, a, and we've got enough white here on our walkway where you're kind of invited in. I think that's sort of neat, don't you? And uh, again, we know I rarely put light coming over from the from the um, from this side, right? So here's, and I'm just going to put a teeny bit of white right there, and just a little bit right on these flowers right there, a little bit of white, just a touch and bring your eye right in toward the center. Okay, so I'm going to bring your eye right in toward there. And here's our um, unbleached titanium, so you can sort of see the difference. You don't want too much of that. Okay, and let's see, we kind of kind of muddied up the background here too and kind of said this was a little darker. Have some sort of little shadow going across here. And there's our picture, and I just, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to bring the stucco down here too, a little bit further. Here we go. Just make it look like it's dripping. It's kind of dripping down. This old building. All right, I'm signing it here. Happy enough with that. We're not doing a lot of detail. Simple rocks, and um, which I think we did get. I feel like we did get that. It's a little yellow and magenta. Did you know that makes a nice orange too? Trying to think where we might want that would be over magenta and, and yellow make a really nice bright orange. Uh, and here's where I want it is right here next to this um, um, this shutter because it's just you know that's a sort of a bright color. Let's see. Let's put a little bit down here on this pot too. Um, there, yeah, just just play with the just playing with the light just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna sign it, but you know me. Well, when is she gonna sign it? Oh, I don't know. She never signs it. She always says she's gonna and then doesn't. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, let's see what else do I want to do there. There's our door handle. Okay. So actually, it wouldn't look like that. It would look pretty much straight on. We're looking at it pretty much straight on. We'd just see something like that. Okay. Good enough, you guys. Here it is dark on the bottom. I'm signing it. When, when were you planning on signing this, Ginger? That's interesting. I, we're not seeing you sign it. Well, you know me. I'm just sitting there going, wait, wait, I can do something else. Wait, wait, I'm doing something else. I'm doing something else. I like this white right here, and I like a little of it going this way. Okay. All right, signing it here. Hope that you had fun. If you have not, subscribe to this channel and look. Uh, please do so. Uh, I invite you to join our Facebook club, the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club. It's really a fun place to be, and I think you would enjoy it. And um, I'm signing it with a Posca pen, in case you guys were wondering, um, which is really neat. They're really nice for a detail. I got to tell you, the Posca pens are great for detail if you because they're if they don't dry for a little bit. You can wipe them off if you don't like them. But then they're permanent. And I have a link on our website to those and also on our Facebook club. Okay, let's do a little bit of the, the um, let's make a little orange color, a little red slash to the name. 
All right, everybody's good with this, right? And you're saying, but she signed it, and she's still painting. I know. It's really unfair, isn't it? There we go. All right, we're good. So let me just take all of this off of here now. All right, so there we are. That is our Tuscan Village Lane, which I think I think is kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed painting it. Someone's going to say, well, I don't understand. I'm going to just briefly, I don't really have a reference photo, but I did tear something out of a magazine that was sort of similar that I decided to, to be inspired by. And um, I'll just show you this real quick. I just tore this whole thing out of a magazine, a travel brochure, and uh, just someplace you can visit. So, see? Um, just that's that's what I was painting, but you know it's not about the references for me It's more about just you know cause, cause We've got this rock wall and we just we were inspired by this and then we did something else That's what we did. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and uh, Again check into our Facebook club see what's if, if you if I'm not live that I'm doing fun things And if you're a member of our Facebook club, you'll know what those are